Hello everybody, Kuro here with a ZBrush technique. I'm going to be showing you how to load a reference into ZBrush. This is really helpful for people that are uh, starting out for beginners or for people that are working off a reference sheet. Uh, if you're planning to do this as a career, this is something that you're gonna see in the future. So might as well just start it now. For me, I am really bad doing um, perspective from scratch. Uh, I ended up just having too long arms or legs, stuff like that. So every time that I use a reference, it could be a sketch, uh, drawing, picture, whatever. It actually does help me a lot to do the at least the blockout phase. And if I want to be like extremely precise, I can also do that too. Uh, basically, just speed up my whole modeling. So what you're going to do is take out the guesstimation. So for the first step, of course, what you want to uh, be sure is that you already got a scene started out and with a loaded tool. So what you're going to do is just click here on draw. Now for the second step, what you're going to do is just scroll down and make sure you got the floor on. So what you can do is just click it here. You can also click it here or you can use just the, the shortcut shift P. So let's just go draw click it now for the third step what you want to do is already know what orientation your reference is gonna be in so in my case I'm gonna go with front so I click it then I click map and I click import so basically the last step the fourth and last step is basically 3.5 is just basically go into the folder that you that you got your reference in and just click the reference and basically upload it as you can see this is actually really easy so i'm just gonna put the the other reference so let's just do the side really quick go here map one import perfect you can see load it up so you also got uh, a few other adjustments you can do like the fill mode stuff like that elevation size but this is something that I'm probably just gonna do it in a in another video actually going in depth with the details so now let's just do a recap so I can show you how to do this really really fast okay so recap time really fast uh, be sure that you got the scenes already started out first step draw make sure to scroll down second step make sure that the floor is on third step click the orientation that you want your reference to be in at map one import and the final step is basically just go get the actual reference and that's pretty much it so hey everybody thank you so much for watching if you like the video like and subscribe i'm gonna be trying some new stuff on the next few days and weeks i'm finally back i know i took like a two two months that i wasn't here i was moving but now that i'm back i'm hoping to upload at least weekly but i'm gonna try to push it and since i'm basically doing this full time i'm gonna try to see if i can upload a few more so now just check it out thank you so much and see you later